Um, welcome to this evening's performance of A Battle for Avalon. It's a medieval tragedy. Um, we hope to make you laugh and maybe even cry a little. Uh, the students have been working very hard for the past few months to put this together, so please be a respectful audience. Please take the time to take your phones and put them on silent. Please don't talk during the performance. And please make sure that if you have young children and they get bored, please take them away so they don't ruin the show for everyone else. Thank you. Uh, 演出的我们戏剧名字叫做阿瓦隆之战我们的学生和老师们已经为此准备了好久好久所以在此谢谢大家光临演出期间请大家关好手机的静音静音然后如果你们有小朋友的话尽量让他们保持安静谢谢大家
leaders, we must remain strong against these winds of change. They are trying to turn their backs on the spiritual world, and no good can come from this. Our ancient mysticism preserves the balance between all realms, it unites the powers within us, above us, below us, and all around us. Avalon is the link between the past and the future. Stormy times are upon us, but we must remain steadfast. Avalon must survive. Child, why do you fret so? I have no place in this world anymore. I have been cast aside. There's always a place here with the priestesses for any sister driven out from Camelot. Here? But where am I? What is this place shrouded in mist? You have fled to Avalon. Your spirit has guided you to us. Let us heal your battered soul. Avalon? But who are you? <clears throat> I am Vivian, Lady of the Lake. My lady. And what is your name, my child? I am Morgan, my lady. Tell me what ails you, Morgan. What happened to you in Camelot? And so Morgan tells the tale of how a knight had stopped by the castle where she lived one day. He was weary and weak from battle, and so her mother gave him food and ale and allowed him to rest for the night. She explained how her father was away fighting a battle at the time. In the morning, this knight left, and her father returned. She had thought nothing more of this man, until a week later, he returned, accompanied by the great wizard Merlin. Camelot is in chaos! We need a man of greatness to unite us and establish um, uh, 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 peace. Yes, we are at the dawn of a new age. We need a visionary leader with com 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 compassion and courage. Yes, 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 to lead us out of this turmoil and darkness. By the power vested in me, I ask to be shown the face of Camelot's future. Ahem, <clears throat> somebody's here to see you, Merlin. Merlin, sorry to intrude, but I really need your help. Yes, yes, what is it? It is a woman. Yes, go on. I wish to wed her. Yes, and? She is married to another. Woo! <laughs> Who is she? Queen Egraine. Mm. Very interesting dilemma. Very interesting. That was when the vision came to Merlin. At that moment, he glanced into the future and saw how Camelot's greatness could be assured. Uther and Igraine would come together and they would bear a son. Their son would help Camelot rise above the warring tribes and turn into a peaceful time of law and order. Merlin knew that he had to make this marriage happen and he knew what he had to do. So Uther, come with me! In the, uh, 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 in the morning. Yes, yes. And we need a man of your greatness, go on to, 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 to. To lead the front line. Yes, yes. Uh, Uta here is a highly accomplished and dependable knight, and he can take your usual positions, barking orders from the back. I suggest that you ask your good wife, Queen, uh, uh, Igraine? Uh, yes, to prepare a room for Sir, 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 Sir. Uther? Sir. Yes, here at your castle, so that you may both be fit and, and ready for, for... Fit for the battle call. Yes, yes, at dawn. But Merlin, is this wise? Oh, King Gorwal, you must believe me when I say the very future of Camelot depends on it. He may be old, but his wisdom is still second to none. So be it, Merlin. Igraine shows his good night to his chamber and asks his servants to prepare a hearty meal. 
He needs to fit in ready. It is sure to be a fierce battle in the morning. Thank you, King Gorloi. I will be forever indebted to your kindness. I bid you good night, sir. So, with the King, King, Gorloi, and Queen, uh, uh. Igraine? Yes, yes. Good night. Good night, all. was indeed a fierce battle. Golwa as always, fought bravely to defend both his men and the kingdom of Camelot, but he died trying. Uther, however, commanding the soldiers from the back, survived. He returned to Queen Agrain to break the news to her. My queen, the king, your husband, died in battle. He fought nobly for Kamla and gave his life while saving others. Please accept my deepest sympathies. Oh, Gorwa, you were too good for this world. <laughs> Let me help you, my queen. <laughs> Together we can continue the good work of King Gorla. Let good Uther help you, gentle Egraine. He is right. Camelot needs both of you. Trust this man, and Camelot may have a brighter future. And so the bond between Uther and Egraine grew stronger, and with the help of Merlin's magic potion, Queen Egraine quickly fell in love with the charming, handsome Uther, and they were soon married. Before long, Queen Egraine was expecting their first child. mother let that man Uther into her life. She allowed Uther to replace my father so completely as if even my father's ghosts were forgotten forever. That man Uther, my father's murderer, was now wearing my father's crown. And once my mother fell pregnant with his child, I felt as if I too had died. I had become a stranger in my own home, an invisible shadow. I was so angry, so jealous, I felt abandoned. I couldn't take it anymore, so I just ran and ran and ran. Hush, my child. You're home now. You can stay with us. You belong here. Here in Avalon, you can join the sisterhood and learn the ancient ways of the priestesses. I will protect you. And with the power vested in me, I swear to revenge what wrong has happened to you, my beloved sister. Funny place, isn't it? Yeah, it gives me the, the heebie-jeebies. The what? The heebie-jeebies. I want some of that. It means I'm sort of freaked out, anxious. It's an idiom. Idiom? I'm not an idiom. You're an idiom. Um, true, you're not an idiom. You're an idiot. Jeez. Have you got any jokes? Yup. Funny ones this time? <laughs> jokes. Funny. Jokes are supposed to be funny. Idiom. You go get idiom. All right. So, tell us then. All right. All right. All right. Who invented King Arthur's round table? Who invented, invented King, King Arthur's, Arthur's round, round table? table? All right. Circumference. <laughs> <laughs> Circumference. That's a really good one. <laughs> so you got it this time. Numbskull, why can I never get your jokes? <laughs> wow, wow. <well, laughs> I got it. I'm not a numbskull. I'm smart. Okay. You know, 
A circumference is the enclosing boundary of a geometry figure, especially a circle with the equation of 2 pi r. Pi? No, not pi, shush. <laughs> and sir, spelled S-I-R, is the title of honor originated from the old French word, sir. You get it this time? Good for you to know. Very well, Jester too. Come on, let's scarper. So the Lady of the Lake took Morgan under her wing. She became a high priestess, second only to the Lady of the Lake herself. She learned the powers of healing and sorcery, and she too dedicated herself as preserving the ancient ways of the Kingdom of Avalon. Sorry. War was raging in Camelot. Merlin still clungs on to the hope that the baby born to King Uther and Queen Egraine will be a boy whose destiny was to bring peace in Camelot. A few months later, their baby boy was born. They named him Arthur. <laughs> One night, Merlin had a terrible dream. Baby Arthur was going to be captured, and all Merlin's plans for the future of Camelot would come to nothing. He knew his dream was a prophecy of what was to come. He knew he had to prevent this kidnapping if his dream of a peaceful future could come true. My dear Grain, it is not good news. Why? What has happened? Merlin says our baby Arthur is in grave danger. But how can he know? I saw the prophecy in my dream. Terrible things will happen to the child, but I can protect him. You can? But how? I must take him away. I cannot tell you to where. It is for your son's safety that you do not know his whereabouts. No, Merlin, you cannot take him from me. He's my son. He's still a baby. He needs his mother. I, I feel we do not have any choice. He's right. Let me take care of the child. I promise I will protect and take care of him. He will live to be the great uniter who will bring peace to our country. Look after him, Merlin. My baby Arthur, my baby boy. I take my leave. Farewell. Farewell. And so Merlin took the baby Arthur to the only safe place he knew. He traveled through the mists to the mystical kingdom of Avalon. There, he begged the Lady of the Lake to offer the baby refuge.
be necessary, thank you. As you wish. Merlin, it's been a while since you ventured into Avalon. What news do you bring of Camelot? Oh, bad, I'm afraid, Vivian, trouble times are upon us. And you bring a child, still a baby. Is he yours, Merlin? Don't be ridiculous. No, he is not mine. He is the future of Camelot. The future of Camelot. So why bring him here to Avalon? Camelot is not ready for him. He needs a place to grow, protected from the mayhem and violence. And then when he is ready, I will take him back to Camelot to fulfill his destiny. Is that so, Merlin? Well... Why not have him lead Camelot back to the ancient ways of Avalon? We need to move on, Vivian. We must use the insight from the past to push us forward. We must move with the times, Vivian. And forget all that Avalon stands for? You forget where your power comes from, Merlin. Without Avalon, you'd be nothing. Just a sad old man who can predict the future but has no power to control it. So, you won't help me then? Help you? How? Protect the child, allow him to grow up here, and when he is ready, I will take him back to Camelot. Who is this child? His name is Arthur. He is the son of Queen Egraine and King Uther. Hmm, an interesting birthright. Perhaps, Merlin, we can help you out. Uh, perhaps Camelot's future king can also be of the use of Avalon. Karis, Rian, come to me. Yes, my, yes, lady. my lady. Take this child and care for him. You shall be his guardians. Let no harm come to him. Thank you, Vivian. I will journey here often to train him in the ways he will need to be our future king. Thank me when you see what the future holds, Merlin. You may not like what you see. And so, baby Arthur grew up on the edges of Avalon, protected by the mist, only because the Lady of the Lake bids the mist to hide him. Karis and Rian were released as their duties from priestesses. Merlin often came to Avalon to check on Arthur to make sure he was shaping up to be a brave and respected king. However, Arthur was not the only boy to be raised in Avalon. As time passed, two more baby boys would make their way here. Oh, my baby Mordred, your father cannot be, be with us, but I know he loves us both. He appeared to me through the mist, and we were married in, that in between that place of limbo, between Camelot and Avalon. But now he has disappeared again. The mist took him, and he must live his time in Camelot, fighting the good fight. But you, my baby Mordred, will stay here with me until you enter manhood. Then you too will go to Camelot to fight for what we lost, bring back what was taken from us. Good morning, my lady. Good morning, Morgan. You've been away from the sisterhood for many months. Now, at least I know why. May I know the baby's name? He is Mordred, my lady. He will be my warrior. Will he? Perhaps he will. But you also have a child, my lady. Yes, but... He is not mine. Not yours? Yes, Morgan. It is not my calling to be the birth mother of a child. My vision must stay wide and see all things in all places throughout time. I cannot allow myself to focus on just one. So 
if the babe is not yours. Do not ask too many questions of me, Morgan. Just trust in me. Everything I do is for the good of Avalon. I took him. I slipped through the mist and I took him. I know he has a higher purpose. Remember I allowed that baby Arthur to take refuge here? Yes. And you could not understand. You thought I had betrayed you. Yes, I did. That boy Arthur is the son of my father's murderer. But you share the same blood, Morgan. You are born of the same mother. Like I said, everything I do is for the good of Avalon. Well, who is he, this child you cradle? He is Lancelot. He too will be our warrior. This boy will grow up to be a man of goodness and deadly charm. Under my guidance, he will keep Camelot from losing sight of her past. Lancelot will keep the power of Avalon alive in every kingdom. Even in Avalon, Time passes and babes grow into boys. Boys become men. As men, they cannot remain in Avalon, for Avalon is a sisterhood, and only the priestesses who have pledged their alliance to the Lady of the Lake may live there. Okay, so you have to, to just hold it like this. Hold it. And when you strike, well, huh. Good day to your sisters. Good morning, Good morning Merlin. Merlin, I've been teaching Karis and Rian some of my tricks. You'd be proud of me, Uncle. I'm already proud of you, Arthur. Have you come to continue with Arthur's lessons? Not today, Sister Karis. So why have you come? Just to make sure we bring good guardians? No, Sister Rian, I do not need to check up on you. So, I trust you implicitly. So why have you come, Uncle? It is time, Arthur. Time? Time for what? Time to take you back to Camelot. I've been dreading this day. I wish you could keep him here forever. Protect him. As a man, he cannot stay in Avalon, Karis. But Avalon will always be a part of him. Let us pray that he stays true to the ancient ways. His destiny lies within the future. It is not stuck in the clouds of the past. Excuse me, everyone. Stop talking about me. Talk to me. Spoken like a true king. Come, Arthur, you were born for a purpose. Let's make it happen. Okay, Merlin, take me to Camelot. Back in Camelot, war is still raging. Can Arthur, barely a man, really fulfill his destiny and unite the warring tribes? Make no sense to me. How could this word come to be stuck in your stone? It must be some sort of trickery. If the sword can go in, it must be able to come out. Stop fooling around. Move over. Let me do it. What is wrong with you two? Get out of the way. Let me show you how to do this. Ha ha ha. Let the real strong man show you. 
thousand. <coughs> it turns to be some inscription on the stone. Oh yeah, what does it say? Uh, um, um, I'm not sure. Can you read or not? No, no, I can't. What is wrong with you two? Get out of the way. Not the beetle. Then uh. me read it. Well, what does it say? It says, whoever pulls this sword from the stone will be the rightful king of all Camelot. <gasps> rightful king of all Camelot? So if I pull the sword out, I will be the king of Camelot! No. 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 Wait, 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 let me do it. Ow! Oh. Oh. Stop! Stop! All of you idiots, get out of the way. Let me show you how to really do it. <gasps> Arthur, this is the moment of truth to those knights. Show them who you are. <laughs> Our king. We vow to be your loyal knights. Only Camelot's true king could do what you just did. My king, lead us to the light. I am the rightful king of Camelot. Love the king. Well, again. Space! I will return your king to you when he is well again! Be off with you! Go on! Ah! Yes, Merlin. Yes. yes, Merlin. Yes, Merlin. Arthur, we must return back to Avalon. Vivian and her priestesses can heal you. How is it, Merlin? That with all your power and all your magic, you still need the help of Avalon? You ask too many stupid questions.
help you this time. That won't be necessary. I'm not dead yet. As you wish. Oh, Merlin, now what are you bringing me? Arthur needs your healing powers, Vivian. Huh. So I see. Camelot needs Avalon. Merlin, you should stop expecting us to follow you. You should follow us. I have not come here to fight with you, Vivian. No, but you want my powers, don't you? Yes, I do, at least until the future is secure. And then what? Cast us aside? <sighs> and then the future can take care of itself. Will you heal Arthur, Vivian? Yes, Merlin. We will heal Arthur. Karis! Rian! Guinevere! Come to Arthur and work your magic! Merlin. Arthur, I've had a premonition, a very bad feeling about this place. We need to get out of here. Merlin, stop worrying. I need to get bid farewell to Karis and Rian. Guinevere, I release you from your duties as a priestess. I have a very important role for you. Me? What must I do, my lady? As I said, I release you from your duties as a priestess. You must fall in love. Fall in love? With who? Don't pretend you didn't notice him. I saw you making eyes at him. You did? I mean, I don't know who you mean, my lady. Uh... My Guinevere, so pure, so sweet, so beautiful. I'm a woman too, you know, so I understand the feelings of the heart. I know it won't be hard for you to fall in love with him. Go to him, Guinevere, make him your husband. And with Arthur in the palm of our hands, we will keep Avalon forever great.
Arthur, Arthur, are you there? Oh. Arthur, Arthur, are you awake? The sun is rising. Arthur, where do you think you're going? Please, Merlin, do not stop me. I have to go see her. My whole being is drawn to her. Arthur, she is trouble. She was the reason for my nightmare. It, it was a warning to me. We need to get out of here. Come on. Stop worrying, Uncle. We can return to Camelot in the morning. I must take her back and with her. This is not good news. When it comes to the matters of the heart, it seems that his training was lacking. This fatal attraction is too strong. Oh, dear me. Arthur, I'm sorry to disturb you. I wanted to see you before you went on your way. No, it's, it's my pleasure. How do you know my name? My lady told me. You asked her? Not exactly. What, what is your name? I'm Guinevere. It's strange to think that all my life in Avalon and I never set my eyes on you. The priestesses only meet outsiders when the lady allows it. So how is it that you are here with me now? I wanted it to be so and the lady allowed it. Why did she allow it? Perhaps she knew. Knew? Knew what? That I had fallen for you. And I, you, Guinevere, I must return back to Camelot, but I know my heart will ache knowing that you will not be by my side. Come with me, Guinevere. Come with me back to Camelot. Arthur, this is all so sudden, but I admit I would like nothing more. Let me first go to my lady. I must bid her and my sisters farewell. Yes, of course. Wait for me. Of course. Guinevere! Yes? Will you be my queen? Your queen? This is all happening so fast. Let me go to my lady. I will answer you on my return. Then I shall stay glued to this spot until you come and accept me. Hurry, my love. The waiting could kill a man. Am I in heaven? Is this a dream? Who is this angel I see before me? Is this the end? Is this the star? Has Cupid's arrow pierced my heart? I'll be her knight in armor of gold With her forever to heaven to home Sadness will never Borrow her brow I never knew love Till this moment now Am I brave? Dare I take her sweet hand in mine? Our love will last until The end of time Now I have found you Nothing can change how I feel in my heart You are my fire, my heart's desire I'll be the one until death do us part You are my fire, my heart's desire I'll be the one who feel in my heart You are my fire, my heart's desire I'll be the one until death do us part. Arthur, what on earth are you doing? You look like you're about to propose to some beautiful maiden. Stand up like a true king, for goodness sakes, my boy. Merlin, I cannot move. I am love struck. I'm waiting for her to accept me. Arthur, this is not good. You have been bewitched, boy! Stop worrying, uncle. I have asked her to be my queen. And when I'll take her back, I'll wed her. Wed, wed, wed her? But, but, but you've only just met. You're young, Arthur. You do not know what you're saying. Come on, let's get out of here. Uncle Merlin, thank you for all that you have taught me. I do not like to disobey you. But my heart and soul yearns to be with her. 
I have asked her to be my queen, and I know she will say yes. After that, I will return back to my kingdom, and by my side, I'll have the beautiful queen. I do not think this is wise, Arthur. Letting your heart rule your head may very well be your downfall, and if you fall, you will bring Camelot down with you. Remember that, Arthur. Guinevere will make me strong. She will add to my greatness. And besides, every king ne needs a queen. <sighs> yes, Arthur. But a queen from Avalon is asking for trouble. It will weaken your power hold. Stop worrying, uncle. Let me be happy. I'm in love. Ugh. I am powerless against the forces of the heart. So be it. My lady, Guinevere, you're back. Surely he did not reject you. On the contrary, my lady, he asked me to be his queen. Did he? And what will you do? He wants me to leave with him, go to Camelot and wed him there. How very romantic. Do you plan to accept? Yes, with your blessing, I plan to be Arthur's queen. Oh, Guinevere. Did I not release you from your duties as a priestess for this very purpose? Go with my blessing. Go to Camelot and spread the magic of Avalon so that they do not forget the power and wisdom of our past. Go! Guinevere, you have returned. I feared you'd take so long. I came as quickly as I could. So put me out of my misery and accept me. Will you be my queen? Yes, I will be your queen. Arthur, I believe the sword you pulled from the stone was broken in your last battle. To replace it, I present to you Excalibur. Use it wisely, and its magic will keep you from harm. Think of it as my wedding gift. Oh! <gasps> so, you knew about the wedding, Vivian? Oh, I know all that goes on in my kingdom. Merlin. Oh, and you approve, I suppose. In fact, do not tell me you, you, you had a hand in this love match. Oh, Merlin, we both know that the powers of love are uncontrollable. I simply placed a seed of suggestion and let love work its magic. Really? Well, I think we better be going before any more love nonsense gets the better of anyone else. And who might you fall in love with, Merlin? Stop playing with me, Vivian. Arthur, Guinevere, let us make haste back to Avalon. We have a kingdom to save and a wedding to celebrate. Will you be coming to the wedding, Vivian? Am I invited? Since when have you needed an invitation to go anywhere? Please come. Be our fine guest in this union of Avalon and Camelot. In fact, it is only right that you should be there. See you at the wedding then, Merlin. And you two lovebirds, don't forget the past. There can be no future without it. Arthur, Guinevere, I'm so happy for you both. Arthur, stay well. Guinevere, look after him well. I will. I hope my lady will allow the sisters to attend the wedding. My lady? Are we invited to the wedding? Seeing as you are Arthur's guardians, I think I can see it fit that you attend. Yes. Thank you, hey, my, lady. my lady. Come, come, let's go. Goodbye. What's going on? What's all this noise about? It's the day of farewells. Wait, who left? Who else is going? Your sister Guinevere has just left us. You don't know her, 
Yet, she is to be a queen in Camelot. A queen? To who? To Arthur. Betrayal upon betrayal. How could my sister, Guinevere, leave us to go to Camelot? And what's more, to marry him? Why does she choose Arthur? Because I bid it so. Because love is a force that you have to handle very carefully if you wish to control it. And because it's for the good of Avalon. Why must everyone else's happiness bring me so much pain? Who is this Arthur, mother, and what has he done to wrong you? Mordred, my son, Arthur is my half-brother. His father had my father killed so that he could have my mother. That is why I came here to Avalon. Dejected, I ran and ran and came here to Avalon. Not long after that, the wizard Merlin came to Avalon with a baby. Their baby, Arthur. It seems their wicked deeds did not end in happiness, as Arthur was taken from them, and I'm glad about their misery. Arthur needed protection, and the lady granted Merlin his wish. All for the good of Avalon, Morgan. So Arthur grew up here, in the shadows of Avalon, just like you and Lancelot. But I kept you away from him. Mother, this Arthur must pay for the suffering he has done to you. I will make him pay. I will not rest until he has repented. What's more, mother, it would have seemed that I have the rights to Camelot too. You are the first child of Queen Agrain, and as your son, I should be the king. We must revenge for all this wrongdoing. Mordred, you are still young. Do not let anger eat away at your soul like it is mine. Let the magic of Avalon work for us. Well um, said, Morgan. Um, going back to my earlier question, who else is leaving? Lancelot, Mordred, allow me a moment with Morgan, please. Morgan, these boys are not really boys anymore. As boys, they have become men, and as men, we must send them away. It is time for them to leave Avalon and go to Camelot. There, they can secure our destiny. Today, you really wish to break my heart. Mordred, come here, son. Lancelot, you too. The day has come for you to leave Avalon. I will stay here and continue my duties as a priestess. We will pray for you. May the magic and powers of Avalon be with you. Go into the mists. Go to Camelot and find Arthur. Just like that, you just miss us? Come on, Lancelot, we have a battle to fight. Don't forget us. Goodbye, mother. Camelot, here we come.
should be our happy ending. But, my friends, what we have for you is a tragedy. There is no happy ever after in our story tonight. Yes, Arthur and Guinevere are happily married, but how long can it last? What can go wrong? The Lady of the Lake will do anything for the good of Avalon, and Merlin wants to move Camelot forwards into the future. Why can these two goals not go hand in hand? Why, do you ask, must the success of one be at the downfall of the other? Or are they both doomed to fail? Mordred, after all, is bitter and twisted. He's young and he's foolish and he wants revenge. Lancelot is good at heart, but he's dangerously charming. He's a wild card. Remember, the powers of the Lady of the Lake and Merlin cannot overcome the powers of love, which can lead even the strongest mind astray. Is everybody happy? Of course they're happy. We just had a wedding. That should be happy. Are you married? No. <laughs> Didn't think so. What, what do you mean? I could find a girlfriend if I wanted one. <laughs> you! <laughs> you! Jester <laughs> too! Could find a girlfriend. <laughs> yes? What, what's so funny? I'm serious. I could find a girlfriend. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Where can you find a girlfriend? Well, I could find a girlfriend, um, well, maybe. Exactly! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did you hear about the spiders? Spider that got oh, oh, oh. The spiders oh, that got married. It's a joke. It's a joke. Yes, yeah. yeah. they tied the knot. Oh. Do you, do you want to oh. know where they met? Where, 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 where did, did they, they meet? meet? On the web! <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 I have a joke. Alright. <laughs> what do you spiders eat in Paris? Bugs. Bugs. <laughs> alright, 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 ready? <laughs> French flies! <laughs> French flies, get it? Fries, flies, buzz buzz, flies? French flies? No, we, we none, none of us got it. Oh, I want a, I want a snack. Yeah, me too. I want some French flies. I'm hungry. Yeah, Come let's, on. let's get let's out of here. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, boys and girls, we have a five minute, five minute interval. 15, 15, 10, 10. 10. I got him. <laughs> Gentlemen, your majesties, welcome to the first joust of the season. We present for you today a finite, a newcomer to the jousting scene, Lancelot. And his opponent in this first round, Sir Norbert. Gentlemen, are your horses ready? Gentlemen, are you ready? May the best man win and continue to the next round of the joust commence. My friend, let me help you. The winner of the first joust is Lancelot. <laughs> Lancelot, when you're ready, please take your mount and prepare for round two. In the second round, Lancelot will be facing Sir Blodwin. 
Gentlemen, are your horses ready? Gentlemen, are you ready? May the best man win and continue to the next round. Let the joust commence. <laughs> Let me help you. The winner of the second round was Lancelot. Lancelot, when you are ready, please take your mount and prepare for round three. In this third round, Lancelot will be facing Sir Kay. Lancelot. Uh, gentlemen, are your horses ready? Gentlemen, are you ready? May the best man win and continue to the next round. Let the joust commence. My friend, let me help you. Lancelot, you are undefeatable. We are impressed. And the way, as if by magic, you cure each of your opponents is truly touching. I am indeed impressed with the preciseness of your blows. You are a deadly opponent, yet every opponent walks away unscathed. What is your secret, Lancelot? I have no secrets. I owe all my success to my faith and my skill in battle. Lancelot, if you win this next battle, I have no choice but to knight you as one of my knights and allow you to join the Knights of the Round Table. It, it would be an honor, Your Majesty. Let's see what you can do. Good luck, Lancelot. I accept your luck with pride, Queen Guinevere. Lancelot, when you're ready, please take your mount and prepare for the final round. In this final round, Lancelot will be facing Sir Lucan, the reigning champion. <laughs> Gentlemen, are your horses ready? Gentlemen, are you ready? May the best man win and claim the championship. Let the joust commence. My friend, let me help you. Ladies and gentlemen, your majesties, I present to you today's brand new jousting champion, Lancelot! Lancelot, you have proved yourself. I have no choice but to allow you to join, join my knights and my knights in the, of the round table. Vow to me that you will never lay down arms. You will seek out wonders and you will protect the strength of the weak with all your strength. I vow I will never lay down arms. I will seek after wonders and defend the rights of the weak with all my strength. Arise, Sir Lancelot. My king, Queen Guinevere, can I have but one request? Speak to me. My brother here is also a fine fighter. May you not consider him for your knight of the round table also? What is your name, good man? Mordred. Ah, I invite you to a friendly fencing match against my most senior knight, Sir Galahad. I accept. Galahad, show this young whippersnapper through his paces and let's see what he's got.
Enough! Mordred, you have proved yourself. I have no choice but to knight you and allow you to join my, no join my knights. Vow to me that you will never lay down arms. You will seek out wonders and you will, never, and you will defend the rights of the weak with all your strength. I vow I'll never lay down arms. I'll seek after wonders and defend the rights of the weak with all my strength. Arise, Sir Mordred. You have a skillful brother. What else should one know about you? There is not so much to know. Hmm, is that so? Before today you were unknown to us, and now you are a trusted knight. Your brother, too. You hold sway over the king, Sir Lancelot. And what of his queen? What does she think of me? She finds you to be a charming and noble man. And what, may I ask, is Sir Lancelot's opinion of the queen? He finds her to be a beautiful and noble woman. Guinevere, take Sir Lancelot back to the castle. He must be exhausted from all the excitement of the jousting. And I will take Sir Mordred to the Knights of the Round Table. Yes, it would be my pleasure, Arthur. Mine too, shall we? Mordred, let's go drink ale with men. And so, the generous-hearted Arthur welcomed Lancelot and Mordred into the Knights of the Round Table. Over the days, weeks, and months that followed, Mordred played his cards carefully. He earned the king's trust and fought for Camelot with passion. The king would often seek out to offer his advice on important matters. <laughs> How can one man cause me such pain? How can one man throw my plans down the drain? He just one man, he just one man. How can he be me again? Maybe this man is the warrior I need. Maybe this man, my whole army he can lead. He's just one man, but a strong man, and he's placed his trust in me. One man, that is all. One man taunts me, one man taunts me, one man wants it all. How can one man threaten all I've achieved? How can this man is always believed? He just wants. I trust this man with the faith in my hands. I trust this man, he will follow my plans. I know this man is the right man, for loyalty he understands. One man that is all. But my Camelot will never fall One man haunts me One man taunts me One man wants it all Passionately, he's everything 
taunts me. One man flaunts me. Does she want me? One man, that is all. He will heed his destiny's call. One man haunts me. One man taunts me. One man wants it all. Arthur was far too trusting to ever suspect his night of betrayal. Mordred, however, did not miss a trick. Mordred noticed everything. King Arthur is a fool. Does he not know that Sir Lancelot and his queen is often in presence with each other? And they are not just talking business, I can tell you. Soon, the whole kingdom will know that their king can't even keep loyalty of his queen. It is time to make my move. I have the king's confidence and he trusts me. Before long, I shall vanquish him and claim his crown. Ha, 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 ha. The kingdom of Camelot shall be mine. You laugh like that, geezer? How do you mean? Like he says, ah, 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 in that evil way. Of course I can. Let's hear it then. <laughs> what was that? My evil sneeze. It's not very evil, is it? Hey. Hey, hey, hey. I got a surprise. Close your eyes. Don't peek. Don't peek. Uh, uh, don't. don't. You peeked. You're a Pikachu. Pikachu. Hey, wait. Where's that guy with my surprise? I think he's tending his ride. You know, his mode of transportation. His camel. Of course. He's, he came here by a camel. By a camel. Da 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 da. By a camel. Da 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 da. He's got a camel. I know. Oh my god. He must be in the kingdom of camel lot by now. Get it? Parking lot, but for camels. <laughs> Camelot. <laughs> Let's get going. Otherwise, find him. Otherwise, he'll be missing this interesting part. Oh boy. Thank you, knights, for your loyalty, dedication to the future prosperity of Camelot. Our kingdom has never been so safe or peaceful as it has ever been. Let's give thanks by reciting our <coughs> vows. We vow. Oh. we vow to protect the weak and the defenseless. We vow to live for honor and glory. We vow to fight for the health of all. We vow to obey the place in your pretty. We vow to guard the honor of your fellow knight. We vow at all times to speak the truth. We vow to respect the honor of woman. We vow to never refuse and challenge from an equal. We vow never to turn our back upon a foe. Ah! Has, has anyone seen Lancelot? <laughs> He's been away from us so much lately. What's this business that keeps him away from us? Arthur, my king, may I speak plainly with you? Yes. Mordred, my most trustworthy knight, speak to me. It is my belief that Sir Lancelot is with Queen Guinevere. <gasps> what? Uh, uh. Queen Guinevere and Sir Lancelot are together? King Arthur, Sir Lancelot is often in presence with your queen. But what can Guinevere provide for him? King Arthur, Sir Lancelot and your queen are together on a very personal business. Oh, how dare you speak of such treachery? Personal business? What are you talking about? Spit it out, boy. 
You have been so blind, Arthur. You do not see the betrayal happening right in front of your eyes. As we speak right now, they are together in each other's arms. <coughs> Sir Lancelot and your queen are lovers! <laughs> Is this true? That my beloved queen and Sir Lancelot have betrayed me behind my back? Is this true? Tell me, damn you! Is this true? It has been rumored so, yes, your majesty. <sighs> Go look for her. I dare say she will not be in her chambers. Guinevere! 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 I, I can't seem to find her. I shall talk to her later. Talk to her? My Perhaps she will confess. Yes. Men, you have been dismissed. I have some personal business to take care of. Guinevere, I've been looking for you. I was out. I was also looking for Sir Lancelot. Oh? Were you with Lancelot? Lancelot? Yes, tell me, is it true? My beloved queen and Sir Lancelot have betrayed me behind my back? Are you and Lancelot lovers? I cannot deny what is true. I have wronged you, dear Arthur. Ah! Guards, seize this traitor! Take her to the castle. I, King Arthur, will find Sir Lancelot, and I will strip him off his knighthood. He stole my wife and must Arthur, pay with his life. Arthur, have you lost your mind? Do not do this. We can work it out. Hold your tongue, woman. I wish to give you my world. Grow old with you. Yet you betrayed me. Guards, take her away. I Arthur! shall not set my eyes on her ever again. Mordred! You summon me, your majesty. Yes, my most trustworthy knight. I need you to keep my kingdom safe while I'm gone. Guinevere confess her sins. You were right. I should have never doubted you. And now, I will go find Sir Lancelot. And with the sword of Excalibur, I shall end his poisonous life. May his soul rot in hell. While I'm gone... I need you to take care of my kingdom, my castle, and my unfaithful wife. It would be an honor to hold the fort for you, your majesty. May justice, truth, and valor go with you. Farewell, Sir Mordred. I'll be back soon. Jealousy has driven him mad. Revenge, you smell so sweet. My plan has worked to perfection. Knight! King Arthur has put me in charge, and in charge I will stay forever! The castle, the crown, the queen will all be mine for the taking! Ha 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 ha! Bow down before me, for I am King Mordred! Bow! <laughs> He's a bit scary, isn't he? No, not a very nice man. No. Things aren't looking good here, aren't they? You can say that again. Things aren't looking good here, aren't they? Nom skull. Do you want to hear another joke? Okay. I like jokes, they're funny. <laughs> all right, all right. What is a bird that protects the king? What, what is, is a bird, bird that, that protects, protects the, the king? king? A night owl. Night owl. Uh, 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 uh. We we, we no, didn't get no. that. Not How does far. a classy comedian like myself end up working with numbskulls like you? I don't know. How does a classy comedian like myself end up with a numbskull like you? Hey, watch it, you! <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> oh, I will give you ah! funny. Ah! <laughs> The old 
the impending doom, the dark clouds are gathering thick and furious. The tragedy unfolds itself, ready to release its tirade of misery. Now, with the knowledge of the past, we take you back to the beginning. shall be my queen. Ha, 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 ha. You will never get away with this, Mordred. No one can stand in my way now. Who do you think is going to come and rescue you anyway, you hussy? Guinevere, my love, do not fret, for I am here to rescue you. Mordred, you traitor! I trusted you in my kingdom and my queen! More fool you, Arthur! Ah! You betrayed me! You must pay with your life! Why did it have to end this way? Why have you carried the anger of all wrongs done to me? Where has it gotten us all this hatred? Oh, my son, my son, my son, don't leave me! Arthur, Arthur, please forgive me. I've always loved you, Arthur. Yes, my dearest Guinevere, but you also loved another. And that is too much for a man, above all, a king. How can I hold up my head amongst my knights, knowing that my queen was with another man? And you! Sir Lancelot, my most trustworthy knight, how could you of all people steal from me the thing that I love the most? And now, as a betrayed king, I die, defending my kingdom and my heart. Don't die, Arthur. Stay here for me. Arthur, I will repent and be truly yours forever. Arthur, my love, my first love, I need you. Camelot needs you. Arthur! Guinevere, where are you going? Stay here in Camelot? Leave me be, Lancelot. The king, my husband, my dear Arthur is dead. What we did was wrong and foolish. I must repent. I will return to Avalon and rejoin the sisterhood. I will live out my days as a priestess beyond the clouds. Farewell, Lancelot. Guinevere. <laughs> this, is a, this is a very sad play. It's a real tragedy. <laughs> hey! Yeah, yeah, it is. Hey, hey, where's my pie? Your pie, ask, ask circumference. We need... One last joke. No, I need my pie. No, you would rather prefer a joke. Fine. <laughs> 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 
Well, one last joke it is. Why were the early days of the history called the Dark Ages? Why were the early days of history called the Dark Ages? <laughs> because there were so many nights. <laughs> so many nights. Oh, that's a really good one. You really, you really, you really th he saved the best till last, didn't he? <laughs> I did. Oh God. Didn't I? I mean, who, who is circumference? And, and, where's my pie? Do you have my pie? You look like you have my pie. Man, never mind. Where's my pie? I want my pie! All for the good of Avalon, you told me. Really? This was for the good of Avalon? I believed it would be, but I confess, perhaps I was wrong. And you, Merlin, have you really made Camelot great? Did my father die just so you could create this? Was this the great future you hoped for? No, Morgan. I believed I could control Camelot's future, but I too must admit that I was wrong. And together, together, your meddling, your arrogance only created this tragedy. There's nothing I can say, nothing I can do to change what has happened. Avalon must bow down into the mists. Her time is over, and so is mine. I'm sorry, Morgan. You're free to choose. You can build a future Camelot or come with me and disappear into the mists forever. Morgan, perhaps if we use the lessons from this tragedy, we can build a better future. Instead of fighting against one another, we can work together. You, Morgan, embody the two worlds, Avalon and Camelot. You can bring together the promise of the future and the wisdom of the past to forge a brighter future. And you, Merlin, need to think about handing down your powers to someone a little younger than yourself. Perhaps it is time you let the younger generation find their way. Yes, yes, perhaps, perhaps. We shall see, Merlin. It will take a lot for me to forgive my father's murderer and to shrug off my anger. First, let me grieve for my son. Who knows what tomorrow will bring, Merlin? Who knows? I feel your pain Tomorrow needs you Morgan dear The daughter of Babylon The spell of fear We must forgive What's done is done Now let's move forward Our voice is one Let's not forget The greater fight we only strove for what was right. Avalon will not forget the past is gone, but lingers yet. Avalon must now embrace past and future, face to face. From tragedy.
Long live the king, the brave I sing. We will fight at your command. Battle goes across the land. Long live the king. Long live the king, the brave knight sing. We will fight at your command. Battle goes across the land. Let's thank the music crew, the band, the choir, the lighting people, the lighting crew, and the music crew. Let's thank the backstage people. Let's thank our uh, crew. And let's thank the teachers, especially Miss Levy. And last but not least, let's thank the audience. Thank you, audience.